Send me your submissions, I'll rate your gameplay. If you take a bus and you get F's all day, I really want to rate gameplay with you. Please like and subscribe for your boy. Subscribe for your boy. Yeah! Hello friends and welcome to episode 86 of Rate My Gameplay. This one comes from Diego and we have something a little bit different. So let's see where he goes. Hi Rev, I decided to play an 8 player versus match on the weekly pack. So this was recorded early early November? Uh, wait, let me check, let me check. Early December it came in. So whatever weekly pack it was then, it was late in the week, so it felt like much of it had been decided or figured out already. I wonder if this is another Mantis one. Let's see. However, I managed to get a nice game in. I don't ever take Bison, but sometimes the shop forces you to play a disgusting team. I hope the tactics and the last turn pivot make up for it. You, if, you, if you're running a Bison, then uh, just be on watch. So we're going to start playing. He must have recorded on like an interesting kind of screen, because you can see the bottom is cut off. And I'll show you, I'll do a little bit of uh, scrolling. You see, you can't see the other team's health, or his health, or the name, or whatever, but if you do a little bit of a scroll, there it is. So I'm going to keep it like this. And we'll just do a little choppy changey as we go. I don't know, 8-man lobby is a lot to keep track of, the world comes at you fast. Also, I'm recording this like 45 minutes after my second team tour match. And if you've seen the videos, like, I'm going pretty hard, like, uh, the, the output is high. And let me tell you, after week one and week two, I've had a massive adrenaline dump as soon as the match finishes. But the show goes on, baby! I got gameplays to review, as it's Bluebird Duck. Now, I could shrink the screen so we can see everything, but it just wouldn't look that crash hot magnificent. Uh, 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 uh. This is sound, we're bluebirding. And the, you like, let's talk about the Hoopo bird for a second. It's obviously like a good pet. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's good. But you'd struggle to find a pet that's more fun than the Hoopo. As we're seeing the strength of it early, we're Hoopo bird respecters on this channel. If I ever saw a Hoopo bird, which is native to Norway, I've recently discovered. Um... I'd go up to him, and I don't know how to speak Norwegian, so the Hoopo bird might not understand me, but I would try to shake its hand. As I leave that mental image in your head. More bluebirds as far as the eye can see. You've maintained max health as the wavy kilts, and you're happy about that. No surprise to see peacocks being spammed. Math is good. This is a tremendous start. So you're going to level this bluebird and you're going to get a bison. We can, we can all agree that that's, about, that's what's about to happen. And even though we know it's happening, we're allowed to get mad about it. Ah, yeah, bison user. Yeah, bloody bison user. Okay, no, fair enough. I hope you pill it on the last turn. If you pill the bison, I'm giving you A plus for everything. And we're sort of bending space-time because you couldn't cost- you've already recorded this. So you couldn't- it's like, I, I'm talking to you in the present, but it's a past recording and you're watching this in the future. So what even is time-space on this channel? It's a man-made creation. Time is a flat circle. True Detective fans? That's a big eggplant. <laughs> um, uh, adrenaline dump rev probably isn't the strat for future recordings. But as Gwen Stefani said, I'm just a girl. That's some good egg planting. Position 2 eggplant, so strong. Ice cream, so good. And you're still on max health? You're winning! Diego? It's a good name, Diego. Turn 7 level. Fortune cookie. Triceratops, always good. This weekly looks kind of fun. I should, I really should do more weekly stuff, but it's just not in my uh, 
interest right now. Great Hoopo bird value. Tremendous. And they have a bison, but yours is better. But you also have a bison, so, like, you're both cringe. Really? <laughs> you take your level. Axolotl. So I'm recording this. It's the 12th of January. This will go up, like, a couple of weeks later-ish. Is SAG still calling it the Oshalot? Have we cancelled SAG? Has SAG been cancelled yet? It's a matter of time. <laughs> oh, hit him. Hit him with the double. It didn't... Uh, did it make a difference? I don't think it did. Incredible salt value. You don't often see the salt triceratops. But you're Diego. You're kind of mashing right now. Pro gamer alert. It's funny, you're sort of using the rabbit as a axolotl. Sentences that haven't been said before. Nice. You're so far ahead. You don't lose this. Incredible insight from me, the part where I said you don't lose this. I said I was going to scroll up and down. I'm too lazy. All we need to know is our man's is on five hearts and crushing. This looks a lot like the weekly that just came out at the time of recording. I watched SAG and, and John Bear's blind weeklies and a lot of these units featured. Repeat weekly? Like, that couldn't, that couldn't be a thing that happened in the thing. Uh, you're gonna win. Crazy. Okay, and you've got a Death Touch Rabbit. You weren't losing no matter what. You maintain your five health. The competition is crumbling. But you said that there was a pivot coming later. One-up Walrus. Powerful. Yo, there was Seagull. Okay, let me tell you a story. You see how there's Seagull and Walrus? When weeklies first became a thing, a long time ago, that's all I was playing. And there were multiple ones that had Seagull Steak or Seagull Walrus. And I just, I literally would just do nothing but run this strategy. Hit the Bluebird. You've been, you've been robbed. But you have Death Touch, but you've been robbed. You lose health. Tree Man, Cryptic Myth, and a few others. I like it. You're scouring the competition. You're staring them down. Maybe we should have had a look at it. Oh, well, too bad. Bit of hot pancake action. I'm, I'm kind of hungry at the moment, and then I just went on a mental, like, tangent about, uh, uh, uh um, uh, what's the thing? The, uh, pancakes, and, like, I feel like pancakes are sort of almost becoming underrated. Everything has death touch. And you've rolled. How do you how do you lose this? Maybe that team that beat you earlier. <clears throat> you actually don't need the you don't need to level the walrus. You, are you aware of that? You're already getting death touch on everything. And you don't have summons like I. Mm, 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 mm. Or are you gonna pill it? Even then, you don't need it. Nice. You're big enough to get through, it kills, you draw. Wait, what is my- my math is bad. They both go to one. Where's your pivot, Diego? Where is your pivot? I love everything you're doing so far, other than the bison. Where's the- Is anybody seeing the pivot? <sighs> I almost wish, uh, like, I didn't pay attention to it so much. Okay, this team's you, but but it, it, you, but not you. Death touch for the boys. Death touch. Draw. That was a clone team. So the other. Okay, so it's one on one. It's one on one. I wonder if you check. I want to see the other team. Press that versus button at the top right, please. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Monkey, badger, orangutan, that ostrich is spooky. So you need to work your way through the death touchies here. It'd be ideal. 
if you manage to death touch on a, like, move your rabbit up, perhaps? It's going, it's, it's, it's slow-mo all of a sudden, and we're fine with it. Where, where, we, we, where do, where else do you need to be, people? So the lynx could pop the badger melon, right? Which would probably change the matchup. Smart call by him, monkey to the front. Pitta activates. Bison dies. Why did that guy back Scorpion? Why did okay, you're you're the guy you're playing choke so hard. Or was uh, did your did your did your did your did your bluebird mess him up? Let's find out. No, the bluebird wouldn't have. Why was he running back Scorpion? Okay, death touch, and you're gonna break through. The badger is level three, so it's gonna it was gonna kill anyway. Bang, bang! You get the dub. Your opponent sold so hard, but Diego, I'm taking nothing away from you. You balled out. Very smart, Lynx. Bring in. Let's go here. There's my face. Update my face, please. I, I I'm sorry. Tactics F. And that's and that's <laughs> that is Bison related. So you can have like a separate sub rating if you like. Of, the, of a higher tactics rating, but I see Bison's, I give F. Creativity, it's a weekly. It's late in the week, like you said. But I do really like that you... You did play creatively, so I'm going to go B+. Plus. There was still a Bison. And Dominance, you can't, you kind of got to get an A for this. I got to give you an A for Dominance. So if you were looking to be a dominant kind of guy, Diego, you can consider yourself dominant. And overall, I'm going to settle it at B+. Plus. B, B minus. <laughs> uh, Diego, episode 86 is all yours. I hope you all enjoyed like an, uh, an eight player lobby. We haven't seen much in Rate My Gameplay. So that was really cool in that sense. Have a great week. I'll see you in episode 87. Bye bye.